Governor Dr. Najma Haftala says hard works of traditional artisans of Manipur have paid off with their unique handicraft items attracting worldwide attention. Works Minister Thongam Biswajit appeals to engineers not to work under political pressures and to apprise him about any such issues bordering them. Left party CPI, CPIM, RSP and Forward Bloc begin week-long agitation against BJP-led government from today. And the National Health Mission, National Mental Health Program and Indian Psychiatric Society Manipur State Branch jointly observe 28th World Mental Health Day today. Hello and welcome to Impact News. You're watching Primetime English News. I'm Joyce Rubisham with the top stories and the latest news at this hour. One day conclave of local crafts entrepreneurs, traditional artisans and craftsmen and MSMEs on promoting entrepreneurship and harnessing potentials of various geographical indications of Manipur was held at the Imperial Hall of Classic Grant in Chingmerong today. Mission for Economic Empowerment of Traditional Artisans and Craftsmen's Meta Government of Manipur in association with the PhD Chamber of Commerce and Industries, the National Apex Chamber jointly organized the conclave. Speaking at the event, Governor Dr. Najma Haptala stated that traditional artisans of uh, the handicraft industry of Manipur have been facing various inconveniences due to lack of adequate measures in promoting them, but now their hard works have paid off as their unique handicraft items have attracted attention of the world. She maintained that Mitag was established in 2018 to facilitate local artisans in marketing their products and to enable them to produce sustainable pro products desired by customers. Textiles, Commerce and Industry Minister Thongam Biswajid, experts from the PhD Chamber and the Ministry of Commerce and Industries attended the event. Resource persons highlighted on topics like Startup India and Stand Up India, Government e-Marketplace, GI Registration and Quality Control during the technical session of the conclave. The aim of the initiative is to revive the lives of artisans by developing entrepreneurship and competence among them. The project would concentrate on products development to capture the needs of the young generation, larger and higher end markets with a special focus on export, new articles, collections and clothes line through products diversification in collaboration with well-known institutions like National Institute of Design, Central India Regional Council, Indian Institute of Packaging, etc. are being introduced. Works Minister Thongam Biswajit appeals to engineers not to work under political pressures and to apprise him about any issues today. He was speaking at the orientation program held on the theme Data Collection for Road Asset Inventory Assessment of Payment Condition and Roughness Data. PWD Manipur organized the event in association with LEA Associates South Asia Private Limited at a PWD conference hall. Minister Biswajit urged engineers of various divisions to know the detailed road data in their areas to facilitate future road repair. He also instructed the uh, department officials to encourage best performing engineers with incentives. Engineer Aduka Lady of Port Little Lady will be back to Puriva Mantri Singh. I can assume Miamna Sahin, Bagi Marsak, I carry no hammer of the Nashagi. I carry Haraka the Genatra, I give service to protection, Natra, I is Hagi, Natra, Kana Roka, the Duino Mana Roka, the Duino Hive the Gi, I coise somewhere compromised of Zinamar Murga, Nasi di Caritore, a quick quality the Hunter E, Aduka Mayam, the Sabum, wherever engineer things. I quit as much as a quick lady by Igi level the possible extender, I honorable minister, honorable MLA Sing, I remember request away. So a quick Kanagumba, Kayumba Kanga, a meeker, Kangu, Kudimanga, Tabak Torgasu, Aduka, I quick lady bar. Thongam 
Left party CPI, CPIM, RSP and Forward Bloc have started a week-long agitation on various demands against the BJP-led government today. Taking part in the protest held at Iravad Bhavan today, State Secretary of CPI Laisham Sotin Kumar claimed that the BJP-led state and central governments have failed to keep their promises made before the elections. He alleged that the government has privatized government banks and industries in favor of wealthy, some ignoring the common people. He condemned that the state leaders have ignored the plights of people in their strive for dominance. Their demands included unemployment allowance for youths to increase the all age pension to 3,000 rupees, not to implement CAB in the state, and not to let the conclusion of Indo Naga peace talks harm the integrity of Manipur. Dengo is one religion. Bharat se Hindu khakta ke upar astra sinu sinu shagat payo apam mayam sinu se masida angak papang na makhan kaya ki moishda ngauriye ba adu ko lene na ekhoi ki Bharat ki ma paandalai ba Pakistan dalai ba Bangladesh dalai ba Afghanistan dalai ba Hindu mayam sinu se mayam hai na ribes CAB C Parliament pass door kanda Bharat ke loi na poro pagi wa sinu Hindu astra ki mangan se mang pao na na ba thabo kaya sinu masia karna sinu ribes poro mayam la e ba. Manipur observed the 28th World Mental Health Day at Janim's Auditorium today. A national health mission, national mental health program and Indian Psychiatry Society Manipur State Branch jointly organized the observance. Speaking at the event, the Principal Secretary Health and Family Welfare Manipur, Vumlun Mang Vulnam, declared that the state has has 81 health and wellness center at present. He assured that efforts are on to raise the number to around 200 to 300 centers. Vumlum Mang maintained that the centers are equipped to be utilized for first phase mental health treatment at the community level. He stressed the need for timely intervention on mental health issue, which is one of the biggest issues of the state. Vumlum Mang urged healthcare providers, doctors, and medical experts to come up with practical solutions for treatment of mental health problems. The principal secretary also stressed on the need to spread more awareness on mental health problems and to seek medical help by those who are at risk. President of Indian Psychiatric Society Manipur State Branch Dr. S. Manikanta, Jenim's Director Dr. T. H. Bhimo, Additional Director of Medical Care Dr. P. Shyam Sundar and Doctors of Jenim's and RIMS attended the event. Winners of the state-level symposium conducted on October 8 by NHM, National Mental Health Program and Indian Psychiatric Society Manipur State Branch were felicitated on the occasion. Many of the persons who are affected, who need help, probably do not help that health-seeking behavior. So for the health care provider, for the doctor, for the specialist, who may be otherwise fully trained on the theories and the technical aspects, how do we reach out to them? Beyond the training and the academic matters, health care providers would need mm -hmm. to find ways to be even more effective. Unless we are more alert, unless we avoid the trap of denial, justifying the odd behavior as being caused by something else, this intervention also has a high chance of failure. The kind of statistics which we are facing, I think, probably even on this point, the identification, the helping hand, again, there is something more that can be done. District Legal Services Authority Imphal West and Legal Aid Clinic Changangai Uchekon jointly organized World Mental Health Day observance at Center for Mental Health Existence in Changangai today. Speaking on the occasion, Chairman of District and Session Judge Imphal West and District Legal Services Authority Imphal West R.K. Memcha stress on the significance of a good mental health for an overall well-being of an individual. ไอ้เนี่ยบัตรพวกตัวสิดาอะดูกาโนคุยดาคุยกุมบาไอ้เนี่ยวัดเปล่าเลยบ่พวกเขาเนาะยิงเส้นน้ําไอ้ตัวน
District Legal Services Authority Thaubal and Legal Aid Clinic Thaubal jointly organized the event. Advocate MD Zakir Hussain stressed on legal services to the mentally ill and mentally disabled person, while clinical psychologist Miranda Indrembam spoke on suicide prevention and importance of life skills education for adolescent and Advocate K.H. Babita stressed on general law on the occasion. Gifts were also presented to children of the children's home in the event. Ex-Union Minister Thanaljam Chauba has urged people to acknowledge the roles and contribution of farmers in supplying food for mankind. He was speaking at the distribution ceremony of agricultural inputs organized by KBK Bishnupur at its conference hall in Utlo today. Asserting that farmers are the real lifelines of a society, T.H. Chauba said that the event aims to facilitate farmers in doubling their income. Speaking on the sidelines, Vice-Chancellor of Manipur Technical University, Professor L. Tombi, expressed disappointment that the state, which is famous for its unique art and culture, still lacks a development in agriculture, horticulture and pisciculture. He stressed the need to develop these sectors to bring prosperity in the state. Baby fishes, piglets, mustard cabbage, mushroom and pea seeds were distributed to 60 beneficiary farmers of Oinam and Kumbi constituencies of Bishnapur district at the event. Farmers, state asigi, country asigi, maru eva mishak haktani. Oi doctors, who engineers, who are high grade loin of maru e adu farmers, high river si yau de viaro, sinjakni. Karigino, double the income, 2022 to the Wainanaba, Farmer Singbu, Puning Toganaba, Lai Rabale Hendanaba, Adumba, Farmer, Amam Wainanaba, Hydena, Prime Minister Nari and the Modina Hukdopa, Adumba, Programni, Prime Minister and Local Avis, Lai, Namba, Nupi, Nupa, Hydena, Miangu, Ama Paikalapani, Madame de Masida, Yabu, Super Institute, Sir, Nasidi, Lautopira, Yam Nuajare, according to Emperor of Homletaba, Vizik Emi, Aruba Tadore Kogi, Master Taduri Kangu. JSC formed against the suspicious death of a girl student of Standard Robert High Secondary School has a warrant of total ban in Thangmaiwan constituency on October 14 if the student's death case is not handed over to the CBI within five days. Speaking to media at Thangmaiwan Thao Library today, JSC convener L. Ganeshwari disclosed that the JSC members and other mother associations held a meeting yesterday and resolved to jointly strive to obtain justice for the deceased student. She demanded Chief Minister Nongtomombirin to put into actions his assurances given to the public on September 5 of urging Home Minister Amit Shah to hand over the case to the CBI. Ganeshwari claimed that the Special Investigation Team SIT formed to probe the case has been submitting false reports to the court to facilitate bail grants to the arrested persons in connection with the case. Ganeshwari demanded replacement of the investigating officer of the SIT. Nabiu, I then a hagi badu, a si powder, Manipur Sagana, Toxadana, Laito Isumna de Gisi, a Makatang application, Targa, Diopitida Taduna Lare, Diopitida Taduna Lari, but she is she. Sapu Makwe Manipur Sarkarna, Pirga Sibi Ida, Sinabagi Dumba, Order Ado, Lagiba Tang, Tarahundu October, Asip Hobogi Manunda, Eque Miam Mamanga, Pangan Bidragadi, Bangi, Sinta, Leblaga, Equina Kola, Lominaba, Iba, Kunjanga Sequi, Junction Bahora, JSM, Sumiam, the Panjari, Esaidi Aranba, Investigation Mayam Tagatana, Hazi Quarter Aranba, Mayam, Mamma Pisilibasa, Masilepi, Amasu Asumba. SIT statement asum basinga do puthok bidona court thagat piu loina loina na SIT gi aran basali ba ayo ase masi sindok piraga asum ba chatpa ayo ma thambiu Women Action for Development WAD has strongly condemned the rape incident of Rim's ECG room and the recent infamous mob justice incident of Bishnupur district it has demanded punishment of the accused rapist under the POCSO act Speaking to media at Wat office in Palace Compound today, Wat volunteer Saroj Khan urged the state government and the relevant authorities to take appropriate measures to prevent unwanted incidents in hospitals of the state and to rehabilitate the rape victim with 
proper counselling. Ward also demanded to award befitted punishment to those involved in the recent mob justice incident at Upok Pikunau in Bishnupur district. Saroj Khan appealed to provide proper counselling to the child seen in the viral video of the incident and to keep her in a child-friendly area. Hospital Singda female patient the maktadi female technician sing season abio aduga le gober menaso female technician sing season anaba akanba mieng sang bi ga dabane hanak thokri ba thaudu asida rims ta leifam thokpa ekwe sexual harassment complaint committee gi hoi gi thabuk thoram adusu miam da flash to haninge haba di karam be step ba khot kar ge haba do miam da khangan bio thaudu ase matung da tholak ta nabage da makta ekwe gi sar se thagpa matam da yam tien ba matam da quality le ba sar se thagat pi duna judiciary system na pending le Moirang Kendra Apunba Maira Pai Bi Ima Loop Mampil in association with KG Moirang Kanba Loop Chemical protested government's failure in fulfilling their various demands at the Moirang market today. Their demands included improvement of community health centers, schools, colleges in Moirang and to transfer assistant engineer of PWD Moirang. Mampil warned of a total burn in Moirang constituency starting October 14 if their demands are left unfulfilled. Business transactions came to a standstill as all the shops in Moirang market remained shut down today during the protest demonstration. Police barred students from various schools of Moirang who came to join the protest. <laughs> A team led by designated officer of food safety wing in Fall East, Techchamp Grozendro Khaba, seized huge amount of old and expired food items from the stalls around Luang Pokpa Cricket Stadium in Fall East today. Speaking to media at medical directorate in Lamphel, Grozendro Khaba said that his team inspected activities of the ongoing army recruitment rally in Luang Pokpa Cricket Stadium. He maintained that the team inspected shops around the stadium and came across that breads uh, manufactured by two bakeries called Bina and Das without proper date of packing. He asserted that the team also seized Nimbu Pani manufactured in the state by Thangjam Agro and Parafruit and various other imported food items such as YY Mimi and Fresh Cola without proper batch number, coats number and date of manufacture. Brajendra asserted that the food safety wing team will carry out further drives in the main markets of the state in view of the upcoming Diwali and Ningol Chakoba celebrations. Clear with the bar, Aduga Masekar, Lerega, Ishina, Mutalaga, reprint of Bugitan and Bija, Manipuri, Amlere, Maramaduna, Port Lay Dringi Mamanga, Lega Duba Porte, Bet number Yobra, Court number Yobra, Debt of Manufacturing Yobra, Hibernus in Bussing a share, Masi Check to Vidaka Port Labin and Naba, Aina Amukanazu, Mediagi Chilina Sing, Amadi, Iram the Masila Labiri by Chilina Kudumakta, Aina Masuma Porti, and Bidaga, Labida Gunning Tabin and Abidamata in Ninjing Jerry. Proscribe United People's Revolutionary Front of Manipur, UPRFM, in a press release has called um, 18 hour statewide general strike from the midnight of October 14 till the midnight of October 15, condemning the merger of Manipur with the Indian Dominion on October 15, 1949, as a black day in the history of Manipur. Now it's time for a small commercial break. After the break, we we'll bring you news on the 16th raising day of Sajjal Academy, Langthabal Kunja branch. Keep watching Impact News. Welcome back after the break. You're watching Primetime English News. Maite Huyen Langlon Sintam Shanglen Sajjal Academy Langthawal Kunja branch held its 16th raising day today. Consumer Affairs, Food and Public Distribution Minister Karam Sham hoisted the Pakangba imprinted flag to open the event held under the aegis of Universal Friendship Organization in Fall East, Headquarter No. 1. Speaking at the event, Minister Karam Sham lauded UFO for its large strength of members, Sang's leadership tussle among them. He urged people not to have mis uh, not to misperceive Sajjal followers because of their black attire and long hair. Minister Karam Sham lauded that Sajjal followers keep themselves away from crimes. Kairao Emle L. Rameshwar also attended the event.
Social Welfare Department along with Disabled Development Association Manipur DDAM and Artificial Limbs Manufacturing Corporation of India Alimco held one day assessment camp for elderly persons above 60 years and differently abled persons today. Speaking in the event held at New Young Sporting Club in Samuro Awang Laikai, Deputy Director Disability of the Social Welfare Department T.H. Dilip Kumar said that the camp not only facilitates the obtaining of various identification documents but also provides a free artificial denture, spectacle, BTE, heading aid, wheelchair, walking stick and foldable workers, workers to senior citizens under Rashtriya Vyoshri Yojana RVY scheme. He asserted that ADIP, disability certificate and free aids and assistive devices for differently able persons were availed during the camp. Taking part in the event, General Secretary of DDAM, Mohammed Yunush Khan, asserted that efforts are on to hold a similar camps in remote areas of the state. ฝ่ายอีสอมสงเวสสิปุ่นนําฟ้ามตารากันนี่ถ้วยหุ่นโดยมุกสุรเอตกจะได้สิอดุนางาสีดะกี้หอกางาสีกี้เกมมาสีก
Professor W. Vishwanath and many eminent persons took part in the event. Students of Lalit Kala Sangam also showcased music and dance performances on the occasion. Students' Union of Presidency College Modbung accorded a warm welcome to MP of Darjeeling, Raju Bishta, who was a former student of the college today. Students presented gifts to the MP on the occasion. Staffs and students of the college took part in the event held at the college campus. Thaubal District SP Dr. S. Bomta inaugurated a child-friendly police station at Yaripo Police Station in the in the district today. Speaking at the event, SP Dr. S. Ibomcha said that six friendly, child friendly police stations were opened in six police stations of the district on July 6 this year. He asserted that the child friendly police stations will assist the children when they visit the police stations in a friendly environment. Thaubal District Additional SP T.H. Deshorjit and SDPO Yaripok Anupam IPS attended the event. Narcotics and Affairs of Border NAB team led by NAB additional SPTH Brinda seized World is Yours WI tablets worth around 50,000 rupees at Kongba last evening around 5. The contraband drugs were found concealed in a wooden frame at the residence of 152-year-old Gotimayum Ibo, son of G. Kesho in Kongba, Makha Nandaibam Lekai. Trongnabi. He and one 31 year old Aribam Naubi, son of A. Manau from Ketrigao, Naharub Mayaleka, were trying to ferry the drugs. Now, police station has registered a case against them. A combined team of Technopol police led by DSP SL Kam Kohau MPS and troops of 12 Assam rifles has seized WI tablets worth around 90 lakh rupees in the international market near Palel yesterday. The combined team acted on a tip-off and carried out frisking operation upon a suspicious individual riding a Kanda motorcycle coming from Technopol towards Palel at a motor vehicle check post Technopol around 6 p.m. yesterday. The team seized 30,000 WI tablets in 150 packets from the drug peddler identified as Tongmin Len Mate, son of Holkosai Mate from T. Gamnom village under Laysen, Technopol. The arrested person along with the seized items were handed over to Technopol police station for further necessary legal formalities. A combined team of Kakching district commando and 26 Assam rifles including women police also arrested a woman drug peddler in possession of 14,562 World is Yours WI tablets on Imol wrote in Palil last evening around 5. The Miss Crane is 33 year old Moishim Maring, wife of Moshilfa Maring from Kambangkulin in Tengopal district, currently residing at Palil. She was handed over to Kakching Police Station for necessary investigations. Proscribed the Red Army People's Revolutionary Party of Kanglik Park. Free Park Progressive has observed its 43rd Raising Day. Impact News sources said that the Raising Day was observed at the Outfit's Central Headquarters, General Headquarters and Base Areas attended by top officials of the Outfit. Floral tributes were paid to the portraits of late members of the group and message of the Outfit Chairman was read out, from, read out on the occasion. Now, before we end, let's take a look at the headlines once again. Governor Dr. Naj Mahaptala says hard works of traditional artisans of Manipur have paid off with their unique handicraft items attracting worldwide attention. Works Minister Thongam Biswajit appeals to engineers not to work under political pressures and to apprise him about any such issues bothering them. Left party CPI, CPIM, RSP and forward bloc begin week-long agitation against BJP-led government from today.
and National Health Mission, National Mental Health Program and Indian Psychiatric Society Manipur State Branch jointly observed 28th World Mental Health Day today.